They don't even know you've been creeping into their homes. Excuse me, my alarm went off for my study time, but I'm going to finish this video before I go to do my studies. Okay? You're about to be the <laughs> you're about to be like an embarrassment. Nobody's going to want to be associated with you. This is about to be you. This is a man that goes out of his way to isolate people from their family and friends. Uh, this is a man that wants you to know that you are rejected. You're not one of us. You're not like us. You're not part of this community. Something is wrong with her. Something is wrong with him. That's what he does. He wants you to feel rejected. Okay? And he does this from behind the scenes. From behind the scenes. And if you're not quick with it, you'll never know who it is that's doing it to you. But some people... Some people are just a little bit too smart for you, sir. You're going to jail. First, here's what's going to happen to you. You're going to lose all everything. Most of your money is already gone. Oh, yeah. It's already gone. Then it's going to be the wife. You could be going through a divorce right now. Oh, yeah. You're, you're in a stalemate. You're in a stalemate. Then it's going to be the wife. Then it's the home. Oh, you're about to lose everything. Everything, everything, you're losing it. And then it's hard time. Someone is interfering with communications. Every time a masculine sends some type of communication, there's a queen of swords that's interfering with it. She's blocking communications. They don't want you, commu they don't want you partnering up with someone. This is what all of this madness has to do with. You partnering up with someone. They don't want you and this person coming together. So they've been doing a whole lot behind the scenes. There's a queen of wands that's been doing too much. An empress energy. This could be someone's wife, ex-wife, someone's mother. They've all been working together behind the scenes. Okay. I got another download about a man that owns a business. But the business is one thing on the surface. And it's another thing behind the scenes. So this is like, they say someone's, for example, they have like a daycare or something. Or let's say they, uh, 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 what's a good one I can use? Let's say someone owns like a FedEx or USPS, United States Postal Service um, company. Okay. And you have drivers that go do, to do deliveries, right? Have packages and stuff like that. This man is pushing, pushing products and the drivers he's hiring, he's putting those things in their, their vans, their trucks to go and deliver. They don't know what's in the package. They don't know. He's not telling them what's in the package. There's a whole operation. It's a whole operation. Okay. It is a whole operation. So you all be careful with these, some of these companies, they have a whole nother operation going on behind the scenes and they have you involved and you don't know you're involved until the FBI comes knocking on their door and then they want to name drop you. Nah, 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 nah. They, they already know what you've been up to. Someone thinks he's invincible. You're not invincible. The FBI has been watching you for a long time. So that little operation you have going on where you think you have the right lawyers, you have enough resources to get yourself out of there, you don't. You, you, you're lying to yourself. You're going to jail. You're going to prison. You are going to prison in a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. They're watching you. They are watching you. I'm telling you. Oh, they're watching you. They know everything you've been doing, all your deeds. They are aware. They are aware. Everything. They've been on you like white on rice. Okay? They've been on you like white on rice. So, when this man here sends communication to you and someone blocks it, he may be taking action now to come to you physically. Because he's like, I don't get it. They're not responding to any communications. Not email, not text message, not nothing. Not nothing. Why are they not responding? Oh, it's because there's someone around you blocking communications. They don't want the truth out. There's a queen of swords going through some type of exposure. I'm telling you, they don't want the truth out. 
They don't want the truth out. They don't want you to find out why they've been coming after you. They don't want you to find out. Someone is intimidated by your ranking. This is one of the one of the people in this group. They are intimidated by your ranking. When they see you, they see a young and naive person, but you're not young and naive. This is you when people see you at face value, but what you are is a higher priestess and empress beneath that. But this is how you present yourself to the world. This is why they say don't judge a book by its cover. Do not judge a book by its cover. And because this queen of swords is intimidated by that, and she knows someone has been around you, and she knows she's not a match for you. She knows. She's intimidated by that. That woman said, I'd rather be out of here than to see this person be in a higher position than me. Oh, honey, well, then you, you best get to it. You best get to taking care of business then. Oh, I'm telling you, you best get to taking out of, uh, care of business. Do what you need to do. Because the most high is going to do what the heck they want to do. Oh, honey, I'm telling you. Whatever decision the most high has made is final. So you want to go back home? Go ahead and do just that. They don't feel any which way about it. Your burdens, you're going to keep being burdened for the rest of your life because someone is going to be sitting in the position that is destined for them. They've been called. You weren't called to do what you do. You were not called to do what you do. Okay? Oh, yeah. You're defeated. She is defeated. I told you. Whatever action these people are planning to take against you, they are defeated. All of their plans, past, present, future, are all dismantled. All of their negative energies and intent they're sending you, past, present, future, are returned to them permanently. All blockages they're putting in place to now receive their karma are removed. Your energies are coming right back to you permanently, direct and permanent. Okay? Because someone did not listen to their intuition, that is why they are out here defeated. They told them, hey, don't do that. You know when you're doing something, the most I will tell you, they'll give you a warning. Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. They'll tap you on your shoulder. You'll be like, hmm, what was that? Don't do that. They'll whisper in your ears. Or they'll just show you some type of sign that says no. That's a sign. Don't do something. But these kind of people, they're, they're too bitter to, to, to listen. This woman is upset because you're going to be getting a love offer. She don't want you. She don't want to see you in a, a a healthy relationship. These people have tempered with someone's relationship before. If you were in a previous relationship, or oh, they got that person to leave you, they collaborated with your ex partner. Some of you ex partners, they collaborated with them, paid them, and told them to leave you alone, reject you, and they did, only to end up with a nightmare in a nightmare. There's a whole nother meeting going on. You know how these karmics like to meet up. There's another meeting going on. There's another meeting coming up. And whatever they're planning is a failure already. As I said, all negative energies and intent of the enemies against you are dismantled past, present, and future. And that is final. Okay? They are not successful in causing you an ending. This is what they've been planning. Someone wants you out of here. They want you out of here. And they've been paying people, may have paid a king of swords to come and do you something. He can't. Someone's going through an ending behind the scenes as well. Anytime someone accepts some type of bribery to do you something, their life just mysteriously starts falling apart. Is that, oh, what is going on? I wonder what it is. Oh, yeah. They start going through an ending. Things start just ending for them. They don't understand. They go from being prosperous to all of a sudden, no money coming in, losing transportation and everything, having to downsize. That's because of who they came after. And it's not like they're stepping into it blindfolded. Oh, no. They tell them exactly who you are, what they're about to do. Okay? Someone is out here desperate. Someone's not used to having money. Maybe they made him some type of offer he couldn't afford to turn down. 
So he's been on your behind, on your tail. And just like he's on your tail, oh, he's waiting for the right time to strike. And the universe is watching him. Oh, the universe is watching him. Just like he's on your tail, so is the universe on his tail. Listen, right there. You see that? That's him. This is what they're planning for you. And the universe is just waiting for them to take action. Just take action. You know that crazy... You know how my deal is like, I want you to, ooh, please just do it. Do it. I want you to. That's your ancestors. That's the universe. Just waiting for someone to uh, bust a move. Waiting for someone to bust a move. Mm -hmm. I told you they're meeting again. They're always meeting. We're about to go from the karmics of fighting on this channel to the karmics of meeting again. Okay. You may receive a message from someone wanting to meet with you to clarify something, to bring something to your attention, and it's breaking his heart about some type of betrayal that took place, okay? Something these people are planning. I'm telling you, they're actively planning this. Someone is coming in to do you something. They're trying to force their way into your energy. They've been paid. They took the money, everything. So they feel like they have to see this through. They can't afford to give that money back. I'm telling you, they were paid hefty to do you something. They said, oh, I ain't never seen this kind of money before. Just to take her out? Oh, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, Yeah, you may not want to. Uh, if I was you, I would take the money and run. Disappear. Yeah, go far, far away from these crazy people. What are they going to say? They gave you money to unalive someone and you took the money and left and dipped? Y'all yeah, yeah, better get smart out here. When someone comes to bribe you, you better record that sucker. Record that sucker. Let them give you the money. And as soon as they give you the money, you say, okay, I'm out. And then let them call you or try to get into your energy and threaten you to tell you they're going to turn you into the police. You play, play that recording for them. Say, hey, hey, buddy, I got something I want you to... Uh, 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 to listen to. I, I got something I need you to watch. You know how, um, I know you and I, I know you're a little, you know, animated right now, but you may want to sit down for this. Oh, and I got copies. I got copies out there. So you can delete this one if you want. I don't care. Play it for them. Play it for them. Play it for them. So they know they give you free money. He said, since you got money to give, thank you. You got any more to give? No? You're not feeling charitable today? Oh, man, that's disappointing. You're not feeling charitable today? Come on now. <laughs> you don't want to give no more? I want more. Sounds like you got a lot of money. I'm telling you, you got a lot of money. Pay me that hefty sum of money to go in. I do someone something. You sure? Mm -mm, ain't no more donations. Charity closed. Y'all better get smart out here and stop uh, uh, giving your lives and futures away for stupid stuff. People out here want to be greedy and get, getting you caught up in binds that you shouldn't be into. You should not be into because they don't want to see someone sufficient, self-sufficient. They don't want to see someone independent, living a good life. What kind of mess is that? Why are you so focused on someone? This is because these people are trying to steal something that does not belong to them. And it's being corrected. They are trying to steal something that belongs to another person. Okay? They want you rejected. You're not. There's a meeting going on to bring balance back into this situation. The truth is out. Yeah, you're going to be getting what's yours. The truth is out. Someone went out here and paid an emperor to do something and he's going through an ending behind the scenes. There's, a, there's an emperor going through an ending behind the scenes. Someone has legal issues either going in, going on or coming towards him real quick. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And he's trying to hide it. He said, no, this one is sticking to you. Someone thinks he's invincible. Again, you're not invincible. Someone accepted some type of bribery behind the scenes to cause someone some type of ending. Yeah, come for a healer. You crazy. Anyways, whoever you all have been trying to block, they're getting what's theirs. Just as I have said. 
That's why I had said they're getting what's theirs. Okay. Oh, yeah. And whoever is bringing balance into this situation, there is nothing you all can do to stop it. Someone sees you all for exactly who you are. For exactly who you are. Someone may be even disappointed because he participated in something before, but now that he knows the truth, he feels sick about it. I'm telling you, sees you all for exactly who you are. Nothing but common thieves. Greedy. This is some... This is that people trying to steal your birthright. There are certain things that are part of specific bloodlines. Okay? And you have a whole institution or community, couple, family, whatever this is, trying to steal someone else's birthright. And these people are into spirituality. So they know this does not belong to them. So whatever you stole is going to be taken from you. Correct? Correct. Make it make sense. It never will. It never will. It never will. Yeah, it never will. You're getting an offer. Baby, you're getting an offer. It's going to start off as a commitment, possibly in work, and then it's going to turn to this. You two are going to be working together. Someone is loyal. The Knight of Pentacles are loyal people. Very loyal. Okay? They're very loyal people. They don't give to you until they are 100% sure of your character. They are 100% sure that you are loyal yourself. Loyalty is a big thing. Some people take it for granted, unfortunately. But loyalty is not something that comes by easily. It's, it's free to get, but once you lose it... It's impossible to get back. Okay? That's something you only get once. When you betray someone, they ain't never going to be trusting you again. Never. Never, never. Okay? This here lets me know someone pay another energy to undo something. To undo something. It's like someone was taking some type of impulsive action. To either. I don't know. To like. It's like they, they don't want you focused on something. They don't want you focused on your work. They want to get you out of balance. So they may be paying someone to come in. And give you some type of money or something. So you don't focus on your work. This is your destiny. You don't work this hard to get in this energy so someone can come and pay you so you can end up in the reverse. That don't make no sense. Okay? That don't, have, that don't make no sense. They want to come in and pay you so you're non-committal to your past because these people are intimidated by you. They can't do anything to you physically. They can only cause mayhem. They're like rats. They move around in the dark. As in, out of your view, from behind the scenes. You can't see them. So they want to come pay you so that you can get off your path. No, 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 no. Someone is having a hard time even staying focused on their work. They've tried so many times to cause stagnation. The stagnations are not working. You're still focused so now they think coming in and giving you some type of offer is going to lead to you getting off your path. Say, oh, there's a lot of money. Well, forget the most high. I don't want to be your ancestors. Are like, uh -uh, stand your ground. Refuse it. Refuse it. Okay. You are in a union with the most high. So if you accept some type of bribery from this pe these people, you're about to go through a divorce. Oh, yeah, honey. You're about to go through a divorce with the Most High and find yourself in this situation here. Ooh, it's going to be a nightmare. You're going from that. Where was the, Yeah, honey, I didn't even have to look for it. You want to go from this to this? Baby, the math ain't mathing for us. You'll need to explain to us 
why you would want to do that. You see how peaceful it is here? It is just you and your partner. How many people do you see here? And there's a whole fat guy at the top trying to have control over the both of you. Who do you see having control here? Not a person. The energy above you too is something you two manifested. You didn't manifest this sucker up here. That big belly guy, you didn't manifest him. So you better be careful. You are in a union with source. Yeah, you better be careful. You accept bri bribery from these people. This is going to be you, Sally. Maria, this is going to be you. Your justice is on its way. Things are being balanced out. Everything is unfolding. The answers are unfolding. Okay? The truth is out. The truth is out. So don't let these people come in and bribe you, trying to make you some type of underhanded offer just so you can end up in a fender bender that you can't get out of. I'm telling you, they don't want you focused on your dreams. You see this right here? You're a queen of cups. Eight of pentacles energy is in the reverse. Before you, mm, my ancestors don't even want me to pick up the car. Before you, this is what it is. Them coming in to give you an offer, right? To pay you. So that you can let go of your, your, your job, your position, whatever this is that belongs to you. Let go of your dreams. They don't want you focused. Okay? On the other hand, there's a queen of cups that's being seen as non-committal. She's not skilled. She don't know what she's talking about. Someone has been pretending to be something they're not. That would be the one that's been pretending to be gifted to be a uh, 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 you. That's the one that copies people's personalities. Oh, I'm a high priestess. And above her, <laughs> listen, <laughs> this is what's up there above her. She's in the reverse. So this is not a true, a genuine high priestess. She's a liar. This is a liar. This is someone that does things for money. Okay, someone that does things for money. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. She does things for money. She's just superficial. This woman don't care having to pretend to be someone else to get what she wants. I won't be surprised if the rest of the group got her to do it. They said, hey, we're going to put you in uh, this person's energy. You need to learn how they behave. If they want to lose weight today, you want to lose weight. If they want to get fat tomorrow, you want to get fat. If they want to go to church tomorrow, you're going to go to church. They want to get a, a master's degree, you're going to get a master's degree. They want to get a, 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 a doctorate, you get a doctorate. A bachelor's, you get a bachelor's, okay? They want to dye their hair purple, you dye your hair purple. They want to learn a new language, you want to learn that new language. But she don't have the energy to do all of that stuff. That girl don't have the desire to even get out of bed and go to work. But when they show up to work, guess what? They're going to act like they're the hardest working person in the building. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They're going to act like they're the hardest working person in the building. I tell you, it's a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. This is what someone does when people are watching. They act like they are a hard worker. Because they say, well, the collective is a hard worker, so you got to be a hard worker. Before you got into that company, that was the most lazy person in, probably went to work, took the longest lunch breaks, three, hour, three hours of lunch breaks. But the moment you entered that building and they came up with a formula, a plan on how to take you down, she started learning you, learning your, your, your personality. Oh, this was them celebrating every time she got something right. Yes, you are on it. She got a whole pimp in the building building with her. Oh, listen, a whole pimp in the building with her. <laughs> he, she makes money for both of them. Yeah, she makes money for both of them. Got a whole pimp. They go to vacation together. Everything. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you. Your ancestors ain't playing. They've called judgment on the whole community. The whole community, the whole community. 
Someone may not be doing well. She may be going, uh-uh, I'm not even going to say that. There's been too much, too much death cards coming out in these readings. People may be dropping like flies. Dropping like flies. If people stole some money, honey, that money is a curse to them. They are going through it for stealing that money. Whatever they stole, it is causing them a nightmare. Someone stole a house, baby. That house is being hunted. It's being hunted until they evacuate. And that is your ancestors having themselves a good time. Anyone stole a house, that house is hunted. Those spirits are in there. Like, you got to get out. This is, you don't belong here. Yeah, those spirits are not happy. They say you got to get out. Your energy don't match this house. You're upsetting us. You got to get out. Someone's energy does not match the home that they are in. And those spirits don't want, want them in there. And, oh, I'm telling you. Those spirits do not want her in that house. Him in that house. If this is a couple, they want them out. And they're about to start turning up the fun. Oh, yeah. They got to get out. They're going to be put out legally. And if they try to stay there, your ancestors ain't about to play with them. You guys to go. This is our family property. Things go back past lifetimes. That is why I don't understand why people that play with magic, dabble in magic, will even do that. Don't play with that kind of stuff. Spirituality is a lot deeper than people think it is. These things go back past lifetimes. We incarnate to settle scores, not in a malicious way, but to fix things, balance things out. If you didn't learn a karma last lifetime, you're giving you another opportunity to learn it this lifetime. If you're out here repeating the same mistakes over and over, well, you're in for a hard knock life. So whoever stole a house, stole some money, they're cursed. Oh, they're cursed. Yeah, baby. There's something where you, some of you were around a masculine and uh, a feminine energy got jealous. Maybe he was talking to you about the talking to them about you or something and it made them jealous and they're all grouped up together. This is what these kind of women do. They get together, go and get drunk. Oh yeah. Listen, it's right here. They get together, they gather up together to go and get drunk. Indulge in toxic behaviors. I feel like a whole community is being exposed. A whole community is being exposed. Okay? London Bridge is falling down right up here. Baby, I'm telling you, a whole community is being exposed. London Bridge is falling down. Okay? For a whole family, not just one, two, three, not even ten people. It's a whole community going through this. Okay, and this is something they, they, they brought on themselves. London Bridge is falling down. That's what I'm being told. It's being repeated. London Bridge is falling down. Yeah, baby. London Bridge is falling down. These people are fighting behind the scenes. Fighting. Because you're still receiving your abundance, your opportunity, your offer. You're about to be traveling. You're no longer being in isolation because this is what these people want is for you to be in isolation. But this is you. No more isolation. They're fighting. They are fighting about you receiving something. You being seen. Yeah, I'm telling you, they want you in isolation. This, the time for isolation is over. These people don't even understand, like, they don't have the upper hand. They don't have the upper hand here. Okay? They don't have the upper hand. Any type of advantage they had is long gone. This is, yeah, it's long gone, but they're still trying to steal something from you. Someone is being exposed as a thief. As a thief. 
as a thief. There's a queen. I'm telling you, this queen of cups in the reverse here that I uh, 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 spoke about, she's exposed. I tell you, the messages today have just been so serious. But there's something in it because it's a whole community going through it behind the scenes. Someone is exposed as a thief, but she's still determined to sell some type of narrative that she's a high priestess. She's an empress energy. She's a queen of cups in the upright. They, they see you. Like some of these ancestors done stepped in and revealed the truth about this woman. They say, oh, we're sick of you. We are sick of you. It is time to put an end to this madness. I don't know if someone tried to summon your ancestor, honey, the audacity. They looked at that sucker from up above. They said, who is she calling? Us? I hope not. What's wrong with her? They looked at her like she was, I'm telling you, they were looking at that woman. I said something about summon in the uh, moon car comes. I saw someone absolutely does do rituals. She tried to summon your ancestors. God darn it. I'll be damned. And they rejected her. They said, girl, we don't know you. We don't have with you like that. We've been told you to stay away from us. Why the heck do you think we're exposing you? Putting all your business out there. She really tried to summon you us ancestors to turn them against you. Really? The audacity, honey, the charisma. You don't got none. <laughs> you don't got none. That is crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. And she has legal issues coming in while you are getting out into the world. Whatever these people did is leading to some type of legal issues for them. It's all out there. This is the, the court card, the justice, the court case. Oh, someone definitely has a court case coming up. Why they're going through their court case collective, you're going to be out in the world, living your life, fulfilling your purpose, as you were always destined to do so. Someone has been very determined to steal something from you. And you're going to be receiving communication. We have a lot of communication cards out here. A whole lot. A whole lot. And the judgment that has been made is final because what? This judgment is being made by the heavenly realms. And this is not something these people can undo. Something is being corrected. They thought something was finalized. It could not be changed. Oh, it can. It can. I heard something about an original document. Oh, it, it, it's, it's being changed. It's being changed. A balance is being brought in this situation in some way, somehow. Okay? But who, baby, you are in for a rude awakening. Whatever you stole mm, is a curse as long as you all have it because it don't belong to you. Every dime you spend, you're cursed. Every night you sleep in that home, you're cursed. Yeah, you may want to leave that behind. It's a left behind. Dang. <laughs> it said left behind. Source is funny. Source is funny as heck. I said you may want to leave it behind. Oh, yeah. It said left behind. Left behind. Maybe they already left it behind. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but it's right there. <laughs> Left behind. Okay. It says, you don't need to follow in the footsteps of others. Create your own destiny. Exactly. Okay, we have 26. Eight, abundance. You have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I am tactful. Okay, one, one, one. Angels are ready to fully support you in the in this endeavor, so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. I am creative. Okay. New world. Oh, baby, look at that. Look at that coherence. You left it behind. Whatever it is that you need to leave behind, and you're stepping into a new world. You see how the universe just be on it. Okay, new worlds. There are many more things for you to discover, so don't give up. More adventures, okay? Right here. Look at that beauty. Anyways, 
Thank you so much for watching, folks. I'll see you in my next read. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.